the Harmony Express Schoolie episode 29. So you've been with the Harmony Express Schoolie all the way through the seasons, and uh, we're coming back around. See some leaves on the ground. As we're starting into the fall of the season, it's uh, it's now time to start working on heat. So we're ready to be able to do work inside the bus and travel in the bus more seasons than just in the summertime. So we've decided to use a, uh, a diesel fired uh, cab heater. And uh, we'll give you a little detail as to uh, how we did it. So come along and follow along. Well, it's starting to become fall here in Western Pennsylvania and in the Northern part of the US. Uh, starting to get a little chilly in the mornings and things like that. And uh, it's time to start thinking about heat in the bus. So this is what we're gonna be using for heat. This is uh, a 5,000 uh, kW diesel heater. Um, it is a Chinese diesel heater and uh, is a knockoff of some of the others uh, that were much more expensive uh, out in the world. So we've designed this system to go in here. I've got it wired and everything in, uh, into that box. So we're gonna start working on the installation of that today. Inside the box here, the heater will go. Uh, that is uh, 12 gauge wire. The red is the hot and the black actually goes to the chassis of the bus and, uh, and grounds it. And the heater will go down through the floor here. As we look at the underside, this is the air intake, which takes the combustion air. Um, that's the fuel, uses diesel fuel to heat. And this is the exhaust. So it's really cool. Um, air from the bus comes in here goes over the kind of combustion chamber here to cool the combustion chamber the air gets warm and it comes out this end and it blows out into the bus so the combustion is actually inside uh, a metal housing um, so the air inside the bus doesn't get combusted and the exhaust goes outside of the bus but these holes have to go down through the floor here so we've got to determine where this sits inside here to uh, to figure out where we're gonna drill holes so this is what it looks like. Okie dokie then, as they say up in the uh, upper Midwest where I used to live. Uh, we've got some holes cut in the bottom of the bus. Uh, that's where our lines will go out. And we're now ready over here with our exhaust line, our intake line, and our fuel line. They're all affixed. The uh, plate is now uh, placed in. And then this line coming through here is our fuel pump line that has to go down through as well because the fuel pump will be down under the bus so we're ready to put it down and mount it to the floor of the uh, uh, dinette seat alrighty then take a look uh, it's all mounted down those two wires um, the mess of tangle of wires over there need to get uh, terminated that'll be taken care of but the uh, control wire goes through this cabinet up and out here we're going to have upper cabinets up on the top and so that wire will come all the way through and out the side and we'll have the uh the control on this face of that cabinet so there we go moving on to the next step welcome to under the bus here we are so we have a fresh air intake an exhaust a fuel and power for the uh, fuel pump so those all need to find their place. This one, the uh, fresh air intake, cannot face forward because you don't want to have the opportunity for uh, junk to get put into it. This, we're going to kind of bring out and take it out towards the outside of the bus, uh, one of those places, so that it, um, so the exhaust goes away from underneath here. The fuel line is going to go back that way into the underbelly storage where our fuel tank will reside and so will this fuel line. So that'll be all working on that side. Here we go, time to start putting things together. Thankfully, the, the uh, original bus from the, uh, the air conditioning lines had these hangers right here and they will work just perfectly to run that and conduct these right on through. Um, this little filter is just basically to make sure that, um, you know, mud and nasty crud doesn't get in there. So that'll fit in there. Just gonna loosen that up and put that in. All right, so we've got the uh, fuel line and the electrical cord uh, attached to the cold uh, air intake. Comes through, it's attached here, comes through here. We'll put zip ties on here and that'll continue on into the underbelly storage back in there. So on the exhaust line, as it comes down, 
we actually have a little muffler. Uh, this, this thing sounds a little bit like a jet engine when it runs, um, as it's burning. So this muffler does a little bit of job to, uh, to eliminate that noise, but eh, not a ton. Anyway, we're going to terminate it. We're going to drill a hole out through here and this will terminate out through there. But first I want to put a, uh, put a, put a bracket up in here to kind of hold this exhaust line up in there. So we're going to work on that. So now to get into the underbelly storage, we're going to drill through that big, thick piece of metal. <laughs> That'll be fun. So we're going to go through that, um, right, right about here, right in that space there. Um, these two lines will go through there, um, as well as our vent for our uh, gray water tank will come out there. So make a hole big enough for all three of those. Here's where the muffler comes out of the bus. Um, we actually just cut some of the holes here for this to go through. It's in there nice and firm. Um, I do want to get kind of an escutcheon or something to put around the outside to kind of give some extra support there. Um, then we uh, will show you the fuel line and the fuel tank and everything in the underbelly storage, which is right there, how we have everything hooked up. Best laid plans of mice and men. Um, that hole that I had said that I was going to drill further back in the bulkhead, um, it was <laughs> much more significantly difficult to uh, to put together. So we move forward. As you see, it's right there. We've got loom through the hole. I'll be uh, putting caulking through there. There's another another tube that's going to be going through there. Um, that's where the vent for our gray water tank is going to go. Um, so we have this tank. That is not pee. That is diesel fuel. <laughs> that tank. Um, has two screws down on the bottom mounted to the support for the gray water tank and then I have a vertical support as well. Um, so it's mounted in three spots there. This tank, um, this, this right here, you actually had to drill through and this nipple comes out through and, and uh, is, is uh, put on there. So the fuel line goes through here, through a filter, up to this little pump. And that little pump is a metering pump. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much it puts out at one point, but um, that's how it kind of decides how much uh, how much heat uh, the the bus needs or the the diesel heater needs, um, and that's how it regulates that. So uh, let's show you how it operates and uh, kind of go from there. So here is the controller for our uh, diesel air heater. Um, you'll see that there's wires running down through here and uh, we'll talk about that on a later video. But let's just keep our focus right here. Focus right on this right here, shall we? So um, this is an interesting little, uh, little doodad. Basically, it's very straightforward to run. You uh, increase your temperature here. Right now it's set for 14 degrees C. Uh, kind of go through there. Can't change it to Fahrenheit. Uh, it's a Chinese unit, so it's uh, what it does. So if you go cycle through using the OK on the menu, uh, it's 27 degrees C here right now. So it's actually fairly warm. Um, and uh, I have it set for 21 degrees C. Let's increase that just a little, just so we can actually get it to run. And we'll put it at 28, 29, just to get it to go through its cycle. Um, so you hit that and then go through. 27 degrees C is the temperature inside. We've set it for 29 degrees C to run. Um, there's the voltage coming through. Uh, there's more on that. The bus has voltage uh, of its own. It's running under its own power now, which is way cool. Um, E0, uh, there are no errors. So there it is. In order to turn it on, it's pretty straightforward. You hit this button. And... hear that so the diesel heater starts going through its cycle you see that little uh what's called a glow plug there that little red light right there is uh, getting started and that heats up in order to heat the diesel fuel and pretty soon you'll be able to hear you'll see a light come on over here and you'll hear the fuel pump kick on and there it is if you can hear it down below, the fuel is going in and it will start getting ignited. Let's go down and listen to that. There's the fuel pump pumping. 
And as it starts calling for heat, that'll go faster. There you go, hear it kicking up. Starts going faster as it starts calling for more heat. And you hear the jet engine taking off. start heating up and now that this is heated up you see that we've got three bars of heat down there and oops I've got to fix this three bars of heat down there and the glow plug is turned off this thing really sips the battery energy very very lightly uh, it only uses two or three amps four amps when it's running on high like this as we're written on it now um, but as it, as it starts to kick down, it only runs two or three amps down through there. It really is efficient that way. It doesn't use much fuel either. So we'll let it run for a second and then we'll kick it off so you see what that happens. Okay, too much. Time to turn it off. Heats all the way up. Then if you get hot, you can actually, in the middle of it, it's on 28 degrees. See, that's hot. We'll turn it down to 20. 18, 17, there you go. Now watch, it'll start to kick down. This is okay, you've got enough heat now. We'll come back as it slows down. All right, now it's ramping down. You hear it, it's starting to kick down. The fan is slowing down. And if we were out listening to the fuel pump, the fuel pump, the, the speed at which the fuel pump was clicking uh, was much lower. Now, to turn it off, as we're going down in temperature, you sit there and you hold this button right here until it says off. Off. Notice the glow plugs come back in again. What it's gonna do now is it's gonna burn off the rest of that fuel that's in there. It's gonna kick up. So um, that's it. it. Takes about two or three minutes for it now to go into the uh, turn off mode. Um, and then we'll go from there. So heat, we've got heat in the bus. So we're finishing shutting down and uh, yeah, I will say that um, you saw earlier in the video, this thing has run a couple times now. It really sips fuel. Um, that is a, a 10 liter, so a little more than two gallon fuel tank. Um, we wanted to keep it separate from the diesel fuel tank in the bus because if we're ever someplace, we don't ever want to kind of tap into our, our, our fuel, our diesel fuel, um, you know, that gets us from place to place. We thought, you know, we'll just make sure we keep this separate. Uh, anyway, that's it. So I want to thank you for following along. Um, apologize again. It's, you know, there's lots of stuff that's been going on. Um, lots of updates. We're going to kind of kind of rapid fire through here. There's going to be some, uh, just a little, little preview that you'll see here at the at the end of this video. So hang on. Um, let me know if there's something, if you have any questions about how this thing goes in and how it uh, how it uh, is put onto the bus and how, how it works. We'd love to show you around on that. So, but please... Take some time and give us a subscribe and uh, maybe give us a thumbs up, you know, if this was a, a fun video to watch. Um, things are happening pretty quickly. So we'll, we'll have another video out midweek next week. So uh, lots and lots of stuff going on to watch. So talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.